here, Wargaming Noob Historical, back with another hobby vlog. This time we are Going Medieval Part 2. So in the last Going Medieval uh, hobby vlog, I discussed getting into uh, the Reconquista using Caballero miniatures. But you know, the medieval period of history it has a wide breadth. And I figured I wanted to do something else besides doing uh, Reconquista. And really, that's going to be the Hundred Years War. Um, so I went out and bought a bunch of Perry miniatures and I want to show them the boxes off. I'm going to do separate unboxings for each of them and that'll be linked in this video as soon as they're completed. So, all right. I wanted to start off uh, a little bit more, I don't know, moderately. Uh, and so I ended up getting these two boxes of Agincourt Foot Knights, 1415 to 1429, again from Perry Miniatures. The neat thing about this set, and I'm going to bring this down, is that if you're not quite sure if you want to play the English or the French, this might be a good way to get into this period of time, especially the later uh, portion of the Hundred Years' War. Um, and that's because you get 36 figures in here and it is split evenly across French uh, foot knights and uh, English foot knights. Another thing is that these kits or these sprues also allow you to make uh, men at arms rather than foot knights so uh, that's definitely a good way to kind of ease yourself into this this period again perry offers a great value by giving you 36 figures in, and the bases as well as flags and a painting guide and here is just an example of what's in there and again i'm going to be doing a more in-depth uh unboxing uh shortly and will be linked in this hobby vlog as well so yeah two of these boxes uh, so, because they are split evenly across the board, half the sprues are going to be French, half the sprues are going to be English, and I wanted to make sure that I had enough foot knights or men at arms in order to um, facilitate uh, a more evenly matched uh, army. So, that's why I got two of these boxes. Um, also, I got these easily from Amazon. These were available, otherwise I would have gotten some other stuff, but that's neither here nor there. So, uh, if I haven't mentioned, uh, just like Reconquista, I will be using Hail Caesar rules for um, uh, for Hundred Years War. Uh, there aren't any official rules uh, for Hundred Years War. There is a guy out there, a guy named Paul Skirvin Smith, and his blog Scrivland. Um, he wrote up a bunch of stats for. Uh, for 100 years war um, specifically I think Agincourt so that you have stats and stuff for foot knights men at arms cavalry, and all that fun stuff so I will be using his uh, homebrew I guess rules or stats uh, in conjunction with the Hail Caesar you know core rules in order to, to play this out if you play 100 years war using the Hail Caesar rules and there are uh, rule stats for Agincourt and for earlier in the Hundred Years War. I'd appreciate a link uh, that way I can um, properly uh, field or properly play Hundred Years War using Hail Caesar. Uh, any help you guys might have would be most appreciated. Again, this was Paul Scriven Smith. I'm going to link his blog with the specific uh, stat rules in the description below. Go ahead and check that out and see if maybe this is something that you'd be interested in doing. So, all right, that's the Agincourt Foot Knights. I'm gonna show you something else that I got. You can't play the French without having knights. And uh, you can't have knights on the French side without playing mounted knights. So I did get one set currently, or one box, of uh, Agincourt Mountain Knights. These miniatures are usable as either English uh, knights or French knights or even, I believe, German knights. I, yeah, again, we'll take a look at that in the unboxing that I will link uh, to this video. But you can also um, field other types of mounted uh, cavalry, including uh, archers and uh, uh, men at arms and all that fun stuff. So this is just an example. Again, we are going to go ahead and take a closer look at this in a separate video. So stay tuned for that. And uh, I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to split this evenly between the English and the French just yet, because I can make two smaller squadrons of uh, mounted knights. Uh, but I figure 
based on the next box that I'm going to show you, that I'm going to use this mostly for the fringe. So let's uh, bring up the last box of Perry's, and that is the English Army 1415 to 1429. A lot of these sprues are going to be very similar to the Agincourt Foot Knights. Uh, so, you you know, that's not going to be much different. That's just adding more uh, options to me as I build these armies along. Um, what's nice about this and what is specific to the English are the bowmen. So you're going to get a number of sprues that have bowmen, archers uh, included, as well as the stakes that they would have placed in front of them in order to prevent the uh, mounted French knights from uh, riding all over them. So in this kit, you're going to be able to build man-at-arms and archers. Um, they do have the Orle, which is specific to the English, at least from what I've read. Um, so yeah, this is going to be fantastic. This will kind of round out my base for the uh, English army. I'm going to need to get the French army 1415 to 1429 in order to kind of to um, flesh out the French side of the uh, 100 years war campaign that we'll be doing here. Um, also need to get some command. Perry does make metal um, Henry V um, command uh, mounted and unmounted in all in one set. And on the French side, they do have mounted um, command for the French as well as uh, standard foot command. And again, those are things I'm going to need to add. But as you can see, with all of these all of these boxes that I have, I'm going to raise this up a little bit. I think I have enough to, to get started, at least um, with the English side more so than the French. Although, um, you know, I think I have enough to just do both. But uh, obviously, I would like to get more. I may have enough for a small division on each side but I want to, um, you know, expand upon that. So just a really quick going medieval vlog. Um, I figure Perry's were the best way to go. Um, if there are other manufacturers out there that make a hundred years war, 28 millimeter scale uh, models or miniatures, uh, comment below, let me know, because I would like to add something different. I do want to field, um, earlier units I, and I'm not sure if these are usable earlier in the Hundred Years War like in the 1350s you know during the time of uh, Edward III and the Black Prince and all that fun stuff uh, but if they are usable that's great if they're not because of the what 70 70 year span between uh, that time period and this time period uh, listed here uh, then obviously we'd like to get models appropriate to that part of the Hundred Years War so Anyway, very quick vlog. Stay tuned for the unboxings for these. If you like this video, go ahead and click like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I appreciate it if you would. Click the bell notification icon to get notified of all new hobby vlog uh, coming out of the channel. And then click the link in the description below to join our Discord server. That's the best way I could personally interact with you and chit chat you about medieval uh, wargaming and anything else that we cover on the channel. So. That's it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more hobby vlog from Wargaming Noob Historical.